And so when we think about that, should we do benevolence and service for service sake? It's okay to do that, but that's not what the initiative is about. And so I hope that you'll understand this initiative is about supporting reaching the black box. That's what we're trying to do. And so when people come with us, uh, come to us with ideas, and that's really what the elders have said, we are throwing this out. There, here's a group, here's a bunch of money, a group of money, and, and we're going to throw this out and allow you to come up with ideas about how we can reach the black box. And it could be a couple of things there in reaching the black box. Number one, it could be, uh, it could be small scale stuff. And, and the small cell stuff might be bringing other Christians alongside for training and discipleship. Maybe, maybe you've got an idea of how you can, we can strengthen one another uh, and teach one another how to reach out and disciple other people. Maybe that's the idea. Number two, it could be creating an opportunity to provide community and relationship with the black box over time. And, and there's a lot of different uh, things that you can do. Neighborhood um, movie nights and, and uh, maybe it's a... In, a growing small groups. There's a lot of different things you can do that are small scale but would create relationships and community with the people that we're trying to reach. And then maybe it's large scale. Maybe it's reaching a segment of Chattanooga that we're not reaching now. Maybe it's a bigger ministry project. Maybe it's even a church plant. Maybe it's a, a new campus. There's a lot of different ideas uh, that could go under large scale ideas. But whatever they are, we want to hear what your ideas are. The, the elders at this church want to know what your ideas are, and they want to encourage you in those ideas. So, this week, you probably got a form. It was emailed to every member of this church. It had on the top of it Vision 2020. It had some explanations. And then on the back, it tells you how to participate in Vision 2020. If you haven't opened that up, I hope that you'll do that and look over that piece of paper because it's an important piece of paper if you want to participate. But if you want to participate, there's some things that I want to encourage you to do. I want to encourage you to be prayerful about certain things. Here's some considerations. First consideration, does your idea support Vision 2020? You know, we've already received a, a lot of ideas. Some of them have been very good ideas, but some of them really weren't in support of Vision 2020. They were other things that really doesn't fall under this focus. So how does your idea support Vision 2020? Pray about that. Second thing to consider, are you willing to take a lead role? When I was in college, I was the president of my fraternity, and I was well known that if you came up with an idea, guess who got to lead it? You do. So if you've got an idea, that's great, but we want to know what role you're going to play in that idea. What skin are you going to put in the game? So, are you willing to take a lead role? Pray about that. That's an important thing. Uh, next, uh, can your small group accomplish this on their own, or do you need others? Uh, think about that. You know, what can be accomplished? Who needs to be the who, or who needs to be principal players in this idea? The next thing is, what resources do you need? This is a biggie, and that's why they've set aside uh, this block of money for this. What resources do you need? Number one, do you need training? If, if you've got an idea and you, you think this is a great way to reach the black boxes or some training that you're going to need, if you do, let us know, and, and we're going to make sure you get that training. Once again, we're here to equip people for works of service and the building up of the body. The second thing, coaching and mentoring. Do you, do you need someone just to come alongside you who's done it before who could help you with this activity or this idea? So if you need that, we're going to find people who can walk alongside you and help you as you lead or work through this idea. Third, do you need resource materials? And we're talking about money right, yet, right now, but are, are there materials, uh, uh, books, uh, videos, Whatever. Are there, are there things that you're going to need in order to accomplish that idea? Last, are there finances that you need? And then put it last on purpose. It just, that's the way it found on the piece of paper, so there it is. Uh, do you need money? Do you need money to do this idea that you have? Think about those things. Pray about those things. And if you want to participate in this initiative, we want you to participate in this initiative. And I know our elders, they're, they're the ones that have really wrestled with this idea, and they're excited about hearing what you have to say about these initiatives. We just ask that when you turn these initiatives in and you think of these initiatives, that it's not just a really good idea, but it's a way to reach the black box 
It's not service for service sake, technically, but you may be doing service in order to reach the black box. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. And I just want to encourage you, as you think about participating in those initiatives, feel free, but be prayerful about these things. And be prayerful about Vision 2020. And before I end this lesson, I just want to say this. Uh, this coming Wednesday night, and, and Jake will mention this again in a minute, this coming Wednesday night, uh, we are going to have a time of prayer specifically for this vision. It's a year later, we're seeing people come to Christ, it's an exciting thing, and we're going to get together and we're going to pray about this again. And if you have questions about how to participate in the initiatives, please email them to, you can email them to me if you want, or you can email them to the church office, and we'll make sure the elders have those because they're going to address some of your questions on Wednesday night as well. We'll all be in here together, and hopefully we're going to spend some time addressing the questions and praying over how we can reach the black box. So I hope that uh, you'll be here for that. I, I just want us to be a church that thinks in the same way that Jesus did, that it's about seeking and saving the lost. That, it, that he has called us to a mission that is an important mission, and we also have to be humble enough to look at that mission as not being about us. And when I think about, I think about what Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, and this is the last text, we're going to kind of end with this. You know, he was talking about, a, uh, to the rich I became rich, the poor I became poor. He goes through all this, and he says, to the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. And then he says this, I have become all things to all men, that I may by all means save everybody, probably not, but save some. And so when we think about what it means to reach out into our world, to fulfill the Great Commission, to be equipped to do that, we need to be people who say, you know what, I'm going to do all that because it's important to me that someone who doesn't know Jesus knows him. And by all means, maybe somebody will come to Christ. That somebody might be you. Now, you may be here this morning, and, and that's something that's been on your heart and your mind for a while. We hope that it has. And if you'd like to respond to the invitation this morning, you know, we, we would love to bury you in baptism with Christ and, and for you to be raised to walk in a new life, as so many have done recently. Uh, we hope that that's on your heart. If you'd like to pray as the church, we'd love to pray with you. If you'd like to be shepherded by our elders, our elders will be in rooms A5 and 7 across the hall. They would love to just sit down and talk to you. If you just need somebody to tell your story to, they'd love to sit down and hear your story. Whatever your needs are, we love you and we care about your soul, and here's all we want from you. This is it. We want to be in heaven with you. We want to be singing praises with you someday when this world's long gone. We hope we can spend eternity together. So if we can help you in any way, we invite you to come while we stand, while we sing, to encourage you. My heart will sing no other name. Jesus, Jesus. My heart will sing no other name. Jesus, Jesus. I'm running to your arms. I'm running to your arms. The riches of your love will always be enough. Nothing compares to your embrace, light of the world.